In this video tutorial, I'm going to go through step-by-step -step how to remove backgrounds from your photos. So I'll share the quick and fast way as well as the long approach, but I think you're going to like what I'm going to share because one of the ways is simply to drag and drop a photo and then within just seconds, you'll remove a background from any image. Hi, my name's Aurelis and on this channel, I make videos on how to start and grow a digital product business. So if that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications too, so that you'll be the first to know of any tips, tutorials and training that I post up here on this channel. All right, before I head onto the screen where I'll show you step-by-step -step how to remove backgrounds from your photos, one thing to note is that the quality of your image and whether your background is distracting or not plays a big factor in terms of how well these tools will be able to detect the background and then cut yourself or whatever object you want removed from the background. So it is important to make sure you take a photo that is clear and with a background that is I guess, in contrast uh, with your object or yourself. So in this case, if you look at me, I'm wearing black and the background is also black. This is a kind of poor sort of setting that you wanna avoid. Instead, what you wanna do is place the object or yourself in front of a background that's completely different, like in color. So you can see in this example, I've got myself in front of a green screen. Now you don't need a green screen in particular, but it will make your job a lot easier. So with that said, and with that kind of prerequisite, let's head onto the screen and show you the first tool. All right, so the first tool I wanna share with you is the easiest and fastest approach to do it. And it's called remove.bg, so remove background that is. And out of all the options that I'm gonna share with you in this video tutorial, remove.bg is the fastest and easiest approach to removing backgrounds from your photos. So. All you need to do is make sure you have your photo ready. I've got mine here. So all I need to do really is just drag and drop right there. I don't need to click open or anything. It's just dragging, dropping to your browser. Now it's going to detect the background and in just a few seconds, you can see that it's completely removed the green screen behind, behind me. Now I've got a clean sort of picture that I can use for my YouTube channel, for my YouTube thumbnails that is or social media assets or anything else. Now here's the caveat with remove.bg. Although it is free to preview, as you can see here, uh, what you can do is download the preview image that's sized at 667 by 374. Of course, this is based on my image that I've uploaded. Now, if you do want a high resolution version, which I'm sure you probably will need, you do need to pay for it. And the way it works is you need to buy credits in order to download a high res version. So I'm already logged in. You can see if I go download high res and it's going to require one credit. So one credit per image. Now, if you don't have credits, then you can also purchase by clicking get credits. It's auto detected my currency, which is Australian dollars. So this may not be relevant in terms of pricing in your country. In essence, basically US dollars, I think it's about 20 cents per image but you can buy the packs pay as you go or have a subscription plan in place, but that's if you regularly use it or need it. In my case, I only need it on a kind of pay as you go basis. So usually what I do is buy uh, 10 credits or a 10 pack. I think in US dollars, it's about 10 US dollars there. Once you check out, then you'll be granted those credits. And then what you can do then is download the high res version. Now remove.bg has a built-in kind of editor. So if you wanna fine tune it, and let's say there's still a bit that you wanna erase, then you can actually click on edit. And now what I can do is zoom in and also move the selection right here and choose erase. And I can either choose erase or restore, but since I haven't erased anything, I'll just click erase. Now I can select the brush size. And as you can see, this is quite large. If I wanna reduce the size, I'll just decrease it. So it's a little bit like that. So let's say I wanna fine tune it a bit and take a little bit of my hair here. So let's zoom in a bit more here. I can just click on that and you can see just like that. Now, I wouldn't use it like this, but <laughs> you get the idea there. If you made a mistake, all you need to do is just click undo, undo again. Once you are done with the editing, just click download and that's about it. All right, so that's remove.bg in a nutshell and perhaps the fastest, easiest and most cost-effective way to remove backgrounds from your images. Now, what is also kind of on par is none other than Canva. 
Now Canva's got a built-in uh, background remover as well. However, the biggest caveat here is that you do need a Canva Pro account. Now, if you are one to design or edit photos or perhaps you need to create some type of graphic or online graphical asset, then Canva is a good sort of tool anyway to use and to have if you aren't sort of technically savvy and you don't want to play around with Photoshop. So I do recommend a Canva or upgrading it to a Canva Pro account since uh, the Canva Pro account has plenty more templates uh, to use and fonts and all sorts of things. So in Canva, where you can find it is basically what you want to do is create a design first and we're going to create a custom dimension. So for this, all I need to have is kind of like a 2000 by 2000 pixel uh, design or canvas. And for now, what I'm going to do is just drag and drop my image right to this canvas. And that's what I love about Canva. It's uh, all you need to do is just copy and paste. Some things that I find online, I find that I can just copy it and then paste it right into the canvas and then it'll actually read it. So you can see that I simply dragged it here and it's uploaded it to my uploads uh, section here. So now that's fully uploaded. And what I'm gonna do now is just expand it so that it's taking all the room as well as uh, making sure that I'm not cut off in any way. So I'm just gonna expand it a bit more. So right there. So I'm done there, but what we need to do next is click once on my image there, click on effects. And from here, we are going to use the background remover. And really just like that, I've got the background removed. And once you are happy with that, then all you need to do is just download it. Now with Canva, because it is a design tool, you can do adjustments such as the brightness and change the contrast. And I'm not going to do that since I've already kind of uh, edited in Lightroom. So I won't make those adjustments, but as you can see, if you do need to make those finer adjustments, Canva does have all these options here. And let's say you wanna flip it, you can flip it horizontally or vertically. So if you want it the other way, which looks kind of weird here, <laughs> or vertically, you can see that it's very easy to do. Now, in terms of saving, what you wanna do is to make sure that the background is transparent. So click on download and make sure it's a PNG and click on and click on the checkbox called transparent background. And this option here is also a pro option. So again, that's the caveat there, Canva pro account, which is required in order to remove backgrounds. If you do wanna use Canva to remove backgrounds, I'll provide my link in the description box below. So check that out. The last and final way to remove backgrounds is to use Adobe Photoshop. So this is a little more technical, especially if you don't know your way around Photoshop. But if you do have a current subscription with Adobe Photoshop, then this is how you go about doing it. So first of all, open your image and here we can see eraser tool, background eraser tool and magic eraser tool. So depending on your image, again, this really depends on what is your background and how well it is contrasted, you know, between you, your subject and the background. So what we're going to do first is choose the magic eraser tool. So as you can see, it's not as easy as the previous two tools where you simply drag and drop and the AI system does all of the rest automatically. What we are going to do is just basically just play around to see what we can get out. And then from here, we clean it up. So you saw that I just removed the areas that I didn't want. And you can see here, that's a bit of black there. And the rest is about cleaning up using the eraser tool. So this is just one approach and really it depends on the background, the subject, how well or how consistent the colors are. If it is just one flat color in the background, which mine wasn't since the lighting uh, was different in some areas, There's a, there was a bit of a shadow in the corner here, one behind here as well. So that's why it didn't get it in one go. So in this case, I would simply just use the eraser tool to clean up and fine tune the rest. So I'll just change the size to let's say 200, almost 200, and change the hardness to 100% and just remove as I go along. So just like that, it's removing all these little things that we don't need that are redundant, so like that. Now I'm not going to clean up the whole image since that'll take me a bit of time, but that's the first approach to using Photoshop to remove backgrounds. Now the other approach is to use, let's undo everything first. 
the lasso tool. So we've got the lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. So I'm not sure if I'm saying all this right, but uh, <laughs> that's how I pronounce it. So let's go with that. So magnetic lasso tool is what I usually use if I want to kind of trace over a subject or object. So in this case, I'm going to start here, but we can also zoom in just to make things a bit more um, clearer and accurate. I'm just going to start there. And now I'm not even clicking or doing anything with the, my trackpad or mouse. And I'm just basically hovering or highlighting over it. And as you can see, it's not perfect. So we can continue along. And then once you kind of go around and trace all around, uh, what we can do then is to cut it out and then fix any of the minor issues from there. So as you can tell, this is quite a time consuming way. And if you don't know your way around Photoshop, then I would completely ignore Photoshop altogether and just use remove.bg or Canva Pro. So what I'm gonna try to quickly attempt to do is to use the magnetic lasso tool just to demonstrate. Okay, so I've already traced over it and the next step really, I've already joined the dots from the start, so the end to the start, and now it's selected it. And what I'm gonna do now is to just go select. Now what we're going to do is inverse, so select inverse. That's gonna inverse the selection. And then what I'm gonna do now is just make a copy of this background by going here and dragging it to the new layer option. Now it's made a copy, so now I'm going to remove this uh, layer instead of the actual background. So I'll disable the background for now and now hit the delete key. And just like that, the background is removed. Of course, there are other minor tweaks and changes that I need to make, as you can see in between here and uh, between my hair here. So it's not perfect, but it is a way to do it with Photoshop. And just very quickly, I wanna demonstrate what you can do once you do have the background removed from your subject or object. In my case, I've got myself here. So I'll use this as an example. I'll head on to Canva and now I'm going to just uh, create a new design. I'm gonna search for Facebook cover. So let's say I'm just gonna choose one of these Facebook cover images just to put my image and show you exactly what you can do. So I'll use this one as an example. Just click that once. It'll open up a new canvas here with that template preloaded. Once you're here, what we can do is modify the existing template. So obviously you're not stuck to using whatever they have already designed for you. So I'll just click that, I can delete it. And this is just a placeholder image. But what I can do is add a background. So let's say I'll click this and change it to, let's say a light sort of gray right there, keep it a bit more uh, simple. And here I'm just gonna choose or put my name. Now we can just resize this fonts. All right, so like that. From here, what I'm gonna do is refer back to my image. So wherever you get that from. So if it's in Canva, you just click this. And what I'm gonna first do is right click and click on detach image from background. Just so this is a layer that we can copy and paste. So I'm just gonna click copy. And that's the great thing about using Canva. You can just copy and paste amongst the different canvases. So I'm gonna click paste now. And just like that, I've got a custom Facebook cover that I created in just a matter of minutes. So there you go. That's just one of many uses of having your subject or object removed off of its background. All right, so those are the three ways on how to go about removing backgrounds on your images. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel and turn on notifications too so that you don't miss out on any tips, training and tutorials that I post up here on this channel. Thanks so much for watching this video and be sure to stick around to watch these next relevant videos right here. Ooh.